land of no, just the inn. There lived a king and a queen named Mahamya and Shudadona. Um, one night when they were asleep, the queen said that she had a dream that an elephant came in to her right side and planted in a baby. The next morning, she, she woke up, she told her husband the wonderful news, and they were very excited. Months passed, and she knew that the baby was coming. So they... Oh. <laughs> they took off on a journey to her mother's house, because the ancient tradition was to have your child at your parents' house. They came across a tree and she couldn't take it no more. So she went and she held on to the tree and she began to give birth. She gave birth to a little boy who immediately took seven steps Oh, crap. Seven steps, and with each step that he took, a lotus flower appeared on the ground. Aww. <laughs> Amazed, the parents took the son to the Brahmin. Okay, yeah. To the Brahmin. And the Brahmin is like an ancient priest of the Hindu religion. So the Brahmin says that their son will either be a great king or a great religious teacher. Thrilled, but also displeased by this, the king decided to take the sun and shield him from all of humanity so that he never sees sickness, old age, or poverty. Many years pass, oh. many years pass, and Siddhartha lives a very happy life with his cousin who becomes his wife. And they have a baby boy as well. <laughs> One day, on Siddhartha's third birthday, 30th birthday, he asked his mom and his dad if he could go out on a journey by himself to see the world. So the king agreed, and he arranged for the son to go out, but he made sure that all the guards and the king's men cleared the paths so that Siddhartha only saw young and healthy people. my son, I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know where it went. Pretend that there's a son there. Um, it's in the front. Oh. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> um, on the journey, everything was fine. For a little bit, at least. They came across an old man. And Siddhartha asked his squire, who is that? Is he sick? Is, he, is something wrong with him? And the squire said, oh no, there is nothing wrong with that man. He is healthy and fine. He is just old. So Dantha goes, oh, why have I never seen someone like that before? And the squire goes, oh, poor Siddhartha, you have so much to learn. Later on in the journey, they come across a sick man. Siddhartha asks, now what's wrong with him? Is he old? And the squire responds, no, he is not. He is sick. There is a terrible illness that has taken over his body and we can't find a cure. Siddhartha, displeased by this news, begins to wonder about all the things that he had never known about in the world. Moments down the road, they come across a corpse lying against a tree. 
And Siddhartha asked, now what's wrong with him? And the squire, not sure how to answer, chooses he can't lie to young Siddhartha anymore, knowing the whole boy his whole life. And he goes, Siddhartha, this is what happens when you finally reach the end of your life and you're released um, from samsara. These things happen to everybody and they will soon happen to you. Your father has shielded you from this to protect you because he doesn't want you to be the great foretold person that you can be. They took the ride home and later that night, Siddhartha left his sleeping wife and son and fared his goodbyes in their sleep and he went off on a journey by himself. He took on a life of begging and suffering. He became very sickly and he became um, very fragile and thin. After years of searching and wondering why he hasn't found the life that he was looking for, and why even after letting go of all desires, he was still suffering, Siddhartha, walking down a path, is brushed over by a gust of wind and falls into the stream. Feeling ashamed, he uses his last efforts to get up, and he goes and he sits under the tree. And he tells himself he will sit here and sit here until he has the answer that he needs. Siddhartha sits for months and months and months. And eventually, one day, he wakes up and he realizes that there is a chain, um, that there is an answer to this life and that there is um, a way to end your sufferings and to end the desires that you, and the attachments that you have held on to. He discovers that there is um, one, only one way to do that, and it's through your own efforts. He goes on to become the Buddha, and he teaches everyone the Four Noble Truths, and the way to portray the Four Noble Truths is to go through the Eightfold Path. And he continues to live on for a hundred years, and he teaches his teachings from everything that he saw and learn during his meditation um, and his enlightenment. Um, the end.